do when man friends on you all the time? How do you come out of that and find a soulmate and begin your life with a family and a partner in love? It is so easy, really. And it's kind of disruptive. You know, the thing is, we have been trained as women for thousands of years to fit in, to blend in, to be subordinate. C-suite women are not subordinate. We are leaders. We have money, we have impact, we have a lifestyle, we have freedom. We need a different kind of dating. And we kind of need to signal this in every moment. This is different, this is different, this is different, 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 disruptive. The thing is, you think he will like you if things go smoothly. Forget that. If things go smoothly, he will forget you. Things go smoothly with thousands of women for him. Be different. Be disruptive. Be real. Be in the moment. And we really know that all. Everybody tells us, right? If you open a book on dating, you need to be authentic. You need to be yourself and love yourself and embrace yourself and all of that. It is true. But the thing is, when I love myself and trust myself at home, it does not mean that I can really show up as I am on a date. A lot happens in between. On that journey from home to that date, I get nervous, I want him to like me, I'm not sure if I actually want to be with him, I start to have doubts about him, I want to make sure that I don't make a mistake. You know, all these things happen and what do they do? They get you out of your power, out of your center. We need to be disruptive because dating has been created for women who are out of their power. It keeps you out of your power. You need to do things on the date that stop everything else and allow you to come into your power. The most powerful thing of all, and it's not original, but you're not doing it the right way, eye connection. Make eye connection. But when you make eye connection, let it be disruptive. Don't talk and just look him in the eye and keep talking. Stop talking. Look him in the eye. And allow yourself to feel what you feel. That is disruptive. Because feelings are unpredictable, uncontrollable. They're real. They're in the moment. They're yours. They're unique. That is what you need to bring. I work for CEOs and other women in the C-suite, and it's amazing. We are all used to this freedom. So I find that when once I open women's eyes and help them see what it is about, they're ready to go there. That doesn't mean they do it. <laughs> and that's so funny, but it's not funny. The thing is, what you've been trained to do for thousands of years and what the culture is still putting upon us, it's not easy to break free from that. Even if you intend to do that, in that moment, remember on that journey from home to the date, you lose that power. Same here. But that's okay. That's why the way I work, it's very precise and very personalized. And I will really ask you afterwards, what did you say? What did you feel? What did you do? And by actually looking at these details, we get so much information, a wealth of information. And you really start to see what actually happens on that date and why you were not disrupting the expectations, why it all just stayed very smooth, cobbled, we say in Dutch. I don't know the English word. It was just all very and very smooth, just like small ripples. You want waves. You want to wake him up. You want him to go like, wait a moment, I had a plan for my life, but, but here's a real woman. Here's an exciting opportunity, right? That's what you want. Be disruptive. And that asks courage. 
And that ask the sisterhood behind you, that ask the mentor behind you, support yourself. Same as in business, you didn't become CEO just by yourself, right? You had coaching, you had mentoring, you had people behind you. We need that to reach a serious goal. Finding love, and I know this always sounds shocking, it's much more like reaching a sports goal or a business goal than we tend to think. Oh, love is different. Love is emotional. Love is from the heart. Well, that's how it should be. But usually it isn't. Usually love is just needy. I want my needs met. I don't want to be alone. I do what I think I need to do. It's all low level. We want it to become high level. We want it to become about the heart. Just like at work, we don't just want to be a leader and put the rules out and have people follow the rules. We want to inspire people. We want to touch their hearts. It's the same thing. And that's why we take a mentor. In sports, we all know that to really become the top, you need to look at your mindset at everything that's going on within. You need to deal with what do I do after I have a setback? What do I do when I run against the number one in the world? What happens to me? On the journey from home to the date I lose my power, on the journey from home to racing the number one in the world, I will not lose my power. That's what we have a mentor for. So that's why I see with a mentor and the right program and understanding this disruptive nature of dating that needs to happen, dating goes so fast and it's fun and you see yourself moving forward. You meet great guys. They don't friends on you. So that's how we do it. And if you feel like, yeah, that's what I want to, I have a tip for you. Clarearalena.com slash apply. Book a session with us. Talk to me or my team. Really look at how we can do this for you. ClaraAralena.com slash apply. We are just going to ask you a few questions and we're just going to talk to you and we'll send you lots of emails, right? So you can really learn more about what we do. But the first thing is, I wouldn't have gotten your attention if I would have been disruptive with my flute, right? That's the first thing that needs to happen. Make eye contact and when you do it, really do it. Ready? Let me know how it goes. Clara Adelina at the Love for Life Academy.